Of all the sciences, greatest is the science of Jesus Christ. And the great difference between the science of this world and the science of Jesus Christ is this, that our scientists believe that this creation is a riddle that can be solved. But Jesus Christ has very clearly explained that this creation is a mystery and only by God's spirit God can be worshipped and no other way. And we can say the formula or the method or the explanation of Jesus' science is the name of Jesus. There is one occasion when Jesus Christ is about to be crucified and it is the time when Jesus is praying to God. When Jesus is praying, Jesus is saying all Jesus has is of God and all God has is of Jesus and Jesus is saying of glory and it is the time when Jesus is revealing the secret of the name and in the word of Jesus Christ. Now I am coming to you, I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, Holy Father. Keep them saved by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one, just as you and I are one. Here we can understand that what a great power the name of Jesus has that has united God and Jesus, that Jesus is God and God is Jesus. And here Jesus is saying that by power of this name, entire world is united as if you can understand it is the substratum because in the beginning there was a word and word was already existing and word was with God by which God has created everything and the word was God and this word is Christ and we can understand it's the substratum or we can understand it's the foundation on which the building of this creation is made or we can understand it's the root on which the plant of this creation is made or we can understand that this name is the thread on which the pearls of this creation is woven and thus this name is great power and further Jesus himself is praying while I was with them I kept them safe by the power of your name the name you gave me and this name is Jesus this is the most beautiful name most wonderful name and also most powerful name in our world, on the sand of time, we build castle of our dreams, of our lives, but even a single blow of wind tears them apart and fall with pieces, our dreams, our desires, and so many things that we face our love relationship, and so many things happen that we, lo we have lost, we have suffered, because something happens, everything is okay, but out of sudden, we get a news that, oh my God, what has happened? But there is a wind that destroys not, but creates, and it's called Holy Spirit. That is all we need to attain our aim, to fulfill all our dreams, to attain any success. But to attain Holy Spirit, we have to be reborn, and only then we can enter into the kingdom. But not everybody can be reborn, and for them, even if they are living in the flow or the wind of this worldliness, there is a castle that no wind of this world can break and it is Christ. The temple that Jesus builds, no one can destroy and this temple is name of Jesus. And there is one occasion when there was a temple that people built in four decades and Jesus said that tear them apart and I will build it in three days and they were amazed to know and in the scripture it said that Jesus come back to life and resurrected and the name of God through Jesus get glorified and name of Jesus glorified through us and this name is very powerful and this name is Jesus Christ name of God is pure untouched almighty and it will always remain holy and this name is Jesus by will of God happens morning evening and night and by grace of God is there our prophet celebration festivity and success so many things that has happened in our life that we can say is our destiny we can say that everything is grace of God but by by will of God we attain what we attain that we deserve by, but by grace of God we reach to that despair that we don't even deserve we attain that grace birth and death is in hand of God in every single atom or we can say cell or even grain of sand there is light of God and it is said that even a leaf of a plant no one can pluck off unless God gives authority and there was a time when Jesus Christ was facing the trial and Jesus said that you have authority over me because God has given you and what can we say of God's 
God's name or about God by word when God is love of all, not just your love, not just my love, but God is love of everybody. By love, God is Lord and Lord of all. Everyone and everything is overflowing in God's grace. God is kings of kings and Lord of lords because God is God and innocently ignorant are people who are still unaware of God's mercy and grace and Jesus Christ is on the cross and he is praying that Father forgive them for they know not what they are doing means they are ignorant of God's grace as if they are in the light but they cannot see it and Jesus said that Jesus is the light of the world if there is light anywhere it's light of God love is the love of that person with whom God is and no one can even kill or affect that person with whom there is mercy of God. God, we know from scripture that God saved Joseph from dark well or Jonah from fish belly and made way for Moses and so many things we know that God did and the power by which God has done it is the name of God and we know it, this beautiful name, by the name of Jesus. In name of righteousness, mercy, infinite grace, there is Jesus and name of Jesus. And with this name, may God accept our prayer and manifest grace in our life too. And we can call this name in different way. And there was an occasion when Peter was getting drowned in the river or lake or water, simply water, and he called Lord. And by this beautiful name, he addressed to Jesus Christ and Jesus holds his hand. So name of God is very powerful through which God has created everything. And Jesus himself is saying that I will do whatever you ask for in my name so that the Father's glory will be shown through the Son. And thus, in the name of glory of God, this name is the power to fulfill all our dreams, all our power, and it is the very beautiful name. So in this name, I feel privileged that I pray for you because you are getting attracted to this name. Means this name is attracting you because you have the light of this name in you and I feel that I am blessed that I am speaking to you and my voice is reaching to you so in name of Jesus I pray for you and I thank you and I express deep gratitude that you are here and I pray may God everything be good, blessed and successful in your life. Your love become an eternal love. Your life become an eternal life and every joy that you feel becomes a real joy and it grows, expand, evolve and unite in name of Jesus that unites you and your destiny into divinity. You and your dream into reality. You and your practice, your effort, your work into a success story. And I thank you for being here. My prayers for you. In the name of Jesus, the wonderful, beautiful and powerful name. Thank you.